Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava and welcome to the start of a monster romance reading blog. I absolutely love monster romances and I thought it would be an amazing time to do a reading vlog for them. I want to read some more. I'm definitely in that mood. So we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. I don't have a, like a complete set TBR. I feel like for all my other videos that I've done recently, I'm trying to do like a trope vlog like a month. In February, I think I did alien romance. March, I did nanny romance. And this month I'm gonna do some monster romances. Um, and like all those other videos, I, don't have like a sad TBR for myself. Um, so we're gonna see how this goes. One book that I'm probably gonna pick up later today though is Little Slice of Hell by Cleo Evans. Um, this one is like a two and a half hour audiobook on any play. And that's all I know. I don't know like anything about this. This is the first book in like a series that I know about this like monster romance and I've never read a Cleo Evans book and monster romance lovers love Cleo Evans so I definitely want to pick this one up. I've heard some mixed things about the first book from some of my friends who read monster romances so I'm gonna go in with not that high expectations so we'll see but I think each book in the series is about this guy who works at this creature monster cafe and he's kind of like a matchmaker and match makes some of the patrons together so he has match made like a couple from this one together. I don't know. We'll see what it's about. I'm going to go in as blind as possible because that's what I like to do with my monster romances. I also have a few checked out on Kindle Unlimited right now and yeah we'll just see what mood I'm in <laughs> in April. Um, I'm probably going to be filming this like throughout the month whenever I decide to pick up a monster romance and um, yeah I have like a list of books that I have currently on my radar um, so we'll see. I do have a book on my April TBR that I want to pick up called Sweet Vengeance. That one I'm definitely gonna read for this vlog. So that's all I know for this vlog right now. Um, and yeah, I might pick up like a few novellas cause I'm in that mood as well. So we will see. So I am going to finish filming some videos. I'm currently filming the videos right now. So I'm gonna film some videos and then I'm going to be getting into reading Little Slice of Hell. Hi everyone. Today has not gone the way that I expected it to. <laughs> So literally 10 minutes after I filmed that clip for opening this vlog, my mom comes in my apartment and is like, you gotta help me. Um, gophers like dug in our front yard and a bunch of rain came through Texas recently. And um, now like the top part of our lawn, part of our lawn is now sunken, like completely falling apart because there are gopher holes underneath and the rain just like, like, I don't know how to describe it. I had to help her with some stuff. Um, cause she was freaking out cause her plants are her babies. And so like her yard was literally falling apart. <laughs> so I was helping her with that, but I did not get to film two out of the four videos I was planning on filming today, <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. I helped my mom with plant stuff, with yard stuff, it's okay. And then I did just finish Little Slice of Hell by Cleo Evans. <laughs> so I did finish this one. And I think I'm gonna give it maybe like three, 3.5 stars. I don't know. It was just an okay read. If you wanna read something, oh, full of chili peppers, you gotta read this book. But it was just fine, you know, like nothing too special. And it has that touch of insta love, but it is like kind of faded mate ish. So, anyway, so I forgot to even talk about this. Blah, blah, blah. I forgot to mention what this is about. So, like I said in the uh, first clip, um, each book in the series is about this barista at this monster bar, um, coffee bar, um, finding humans and monsters to be mated with each other. Um, so, the barista is actually on the cover. I thought this would maybe be like a hero part of the story. It's not, it's the barista. The barista is on the cover. And so, a succubus comes to him one day and is like, I want you to find me my mate. And he does. And it just happens to be Peter, who is a human. And there are a few trigger warnings in here. I can't remember all of them off the top of my head because um, I don't have a physical version. It was on ebook, but the audiobook is really amazing they like talk about all the triggers beforehand um which is fantastic because not all audiobooks do that very rarely do audiobooks do that and man this man's voice uh <laughs> i i could die listening to his voice beautiful i have to go see if other books in the series have audiobooks yet and if not whenever the next ones come out i'm going to be listening to them anyway um trigger warnings in here you have like 
past SA that is uh, traumatizing for Peter. Um, there is like blood play, there's piercing play, there's like consensual non-consent stuff in here and like bondage stuff. So that's all I can remember off the top of my head. Um, but I feel like the main trigger is the past trauma with Peter because right when Peter and the succubus, I can't remember his name for the life of me, um, meet each other, uh the succubus is like all in like if you agree to be mine like you are all in with me like this is ride or die forever and ever he could also turn him immortal now so peter gets to live forever there's a lot of stuff that goes into here too with peter's ptsd because the succubus at one point even like tells peter like i'm falling in love with you and it's been like a day <laughs> And Peter like freaks out because of his past trauma with love and loving someone. So, um, cause his past loved one did that to him. And so that's why it was like a little bit too much with the insta love to me. And there was a like plot line that was like mystery savior base that just like, I felt like was kind of thrown in there. I didn't think that was really needed at all. Um, so it was okay. I really liked the chili pepper time. Okay. I really enjoyed that. But, um, other than that, the plot just wasn't my favorite part of this book. So um, I'm leaning towards a 3 or 3.5. But I got to read my first Cleo Evans book, which is fun because I do really like her writing. I do. And then I hope she gets more audiobooks published because that man's voice is to die for. I need to go see if he's... <laughs> he's read any other books because I like was blushing the whole time because of this man's voice. I'm gonna go cook myself some dinner and eat it and then think about what other monster romance book I would like to pick up. The next book that I picked for this vlog is The Orc Boss by Lark Green. This is a monster mafia romance. So far I'm obsessed with it and I'm on chapter five. My only thing is it's a little bit on the longer side for me when it comes to ebooks. I normally steer clear of ebooks that are over 300 pages just because I find myself putting the book off no matter if I am loving the story or not. I just feel like it's too long, <laughs> which is not good. Like I should physically read it, but I don't know. I find myself, I found myself just putting these books off that are over 300 pages that I have to read physically with my eyeballs. <laughs> so this one is about Sky and Ansel and this kind of reminds me of Crescent City with like, there's magical beings walking around like in our day and age and it's totally normal. I'm pretty sure it's set on earth. It hasn't really said it has or not yet. Um, but like they have like everything in our modern day, but there's like elves and fairies and orcs and other magical creatures. And there's kind of like a stigma towards, um, orcs and demons like people kind of um judge them are demeaning towards them because they think oh if you're an orc or a demon you're automatically bad um which is not the case and sky doesn't think that way anyway this book starts out with sky getting like a late night text from an ex <laughs> you know like some people get a late night text from her ex and she's like i need to stop accepting these late night hookups with this guy because he's so bad for me. I need to take my friend's advice, which is to get over this man. I have to get under another man. And so she decides to download kind of like a hookup app and really wants to just get this dude out of her system. She doesn't even like him anymore. She's just like her body craves that attention. So she's like, I just need to get under someone else. So she decides to be brave and go to kind of like the darker district area of her city and to meet up with this guy she matched with on this app and she's supposed to meet him in an alleyway which by the way number one sounds sketchy okay i don't know why this girl did that but <laughs> she ends up across this guy this guy starts like coming towards her she thinks it's the guy she's supposed to meet up with and they have a little bit of an almost tryst until she realizes this guy is it the guy she's supposed to meet with and he may or may not be a part of the mafia and she just got like interwoven into his world and was witness to like something he did and someone's trying to attack him so what does he do he kidnaps her and takes her to his home and right now i'm in a scene where she is handcuffed to his bed <laughs> And so far for an orc mafia man, he is super sweet. And despite the fact that he kidnapped her, but he's really sweet. <laughs> so I'm like obsessed with this so far. I've only read a few chapters, but I can't wait to read more. I may update while I'm reading this. I may update you when I finish the book. It depends on what happens. But so far I'm really liking this. I never thought to combine 
mafia and monster together but like it's working so far okay oh and the heroine is i believe she's an elf no or fae i don't remember she's one of those two i don't know which one but it really reminds me of crescent city in like that world if that makes sense so i know it's shocking based on that last clip but i have decided to dnf the orc boss by lark green I think that's the author's name. I don't know. I did up this at around 65%. This book got so boring. And I'm so sad. Because you could tell from that previous clip, I was a few chapters in on like chapter five or something. And I was obsessed with it. It was such a promising book based off of those first few chapters. The heroine gets kidnapped by an orc mafia boss. That was like, what? 10% in or something. I'm at 65% and she has done like nothing, nothing. There was like one escape attempt and it was so lame. It was so bad. Like it was not good. I personally did not like any of the characters besides Ansel who's the hero. Like he's a sweet but rough orc mafia boss. Like Love him. Sorry, Ansel, though. Like, I cannot stick through this book for you. Like, it was at that point. I did not like the heroine. She was obsessed with her ex. Like, we're at the 65% mark, and she's just starting to realize, hmm, maybe I shouldn't want to get back with my ex. Like, okay. I'm also a romance reader who hates ex, like, feelings or ex drama or anything involved with an ex. Like, no. And so, not a fan of that. So, I was so bored and I personally didn't really care to see what happens at the end of this book which is so disappointing because mafia monsters together would have been an amazing amazing book for me this one just really missed the mark and it's so disappointing because those first five chapters I was so obsessed with it I thought it was going to be a five-star read and then it just plateaued and then tanked for me because nothing was happening that's done that's out of the way I have now started sweet vengeance and I am really liking this one. Our heroine in here was sexually assaulted by an old coworker, and she has now since like deleted her phone number, changed her phone number, deleted all her social media accounts, like moved jobs, moved apartments. And she is trying to get over that trauma in her life. And so what she wants to do is enact the perfect revenge and that's to kill her rapist. So props to you girl. And so the way she wants to do that is by summoning a demon. And the demon's basically gonna help her psychologically torture him like for months before she finally does the act, you know? So she's going to basically torture this guy, like pretend, not pretend, make him think he's seeing her in his day-to-day -day life because the demon can like make her appear and disappear. So like one of the things that happened was he was getting out of the grocery store and she was sitting in the back of his car. And so he's checking his rear view mirror to back up and she was sitting there. And he got so freaked out, he turned around, she was gone. So she's freaking him out like that. And it's just like, it's gonna, it's gonna just keep on going until he goes insane. And then I can finally kill him. So you want to tell by this cover, I didn't know that's what this book is about, but this girl is getting it. Um, it reminds me of that like serial killer romance book that people like love so much. Like I haven't read those books. I think they're by ST Abbey or something. Like that's what this is giving me the vibes of. <laughs> But the demon in here, I think his name's Malachi or something. Um, we actually have like an innocent hero. So that I did not know that. So I really like that part of the book, okay? Um, and yeah, he's tasked to help um, Joy, our heroine, complete this revenge. He feeds off of emotions so he can sense like everyone's emotions, especially Joy since he's bonded to her with this like agreement between the two of them. He finds her like anger and her vengeance so delicious, like mmm love it so uh you have some like wing stuff going on here you have some tail stuff going on here so very monster romance-esque so i am about 50 percent of the way through this one and i am really enjoying it hi everyone this is going to be the end of the vlog i did finish sweet vengeance and really enjoyed my time. I really loved how diverse this book was. This book takes place in Nigeria. I got to learn more about Nigerian culture through a monster romance book. Like it was really cool. They talked about Nigerian foods and Nigerian living situations. Like they talked about a lot of things going on in Nigeria and just like the way of life in Nigeria. And I thought that was really cool. So I got to learn some stuff in a monster romance. Yeah. Um, but overall, I thought it was a great read. Okay. Our heroine ends up summoning 
a demon um, to get vengeance on her rapist, basically. Throughout their agreement, he ends up falling in love with her and she falls in love with him. And it's so sweet too, because he's an innocent hero and he hasn't even thought about anyone in that way until this woman summons him. I also just loved Joy in here. She was a beautiful, confident, plus size black woman who took no crap from anyone. And she was learning throughout this book to grieve the life that she had before her assault and just like how to become the best version of herself and not to get walked all over on by other people. And then she also started to fall in love with our hero here, our, our, our little demon dude. So um, I really enjoyed this one. It was very diverse and I loved it. If you really wanna read a short, fun, hot, monster romance book, you gotta pick this one up, but there's more depth to it. Like this does de deal with very serious topics. Like you're having to talk about SA, read about them talking about SA and her trauma with it. And then her wanting to get physical revenge, like violent with him. And there was like on page murder where she murder someone you know like it does get heavy at points so don't expect like a sweet cutesy monster romance like this gets dark at points so but overall i thought this was a great read and i thought this reading vlog was somewhat of a success um i found two books that i very much enjoyed and unfortunately didn't enjoy the other one but it's okay it's okay you live and you learn you know so that's what you have to deal with with reading any kind of genre let me know down below what you thought of these three books if you have read them or if you have any monster romance recommendations for me i would love to know if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me what kind of emoji let's do like the the devil emoji <laughs> because he's a little monster, okay? A devil emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all.